this is Tamara Arcelia for Illustrated Faith, and I'm going to do a print and pray um, journaling process for you. I am using a couple of kits. I am using some of the elements from uh, Taylor, um, Brave Little Taylor's set, uh, Good Soil, and uh, this cute little farm from Brianna Showalter's Father's World set. I'm also going to be using some of Elaine Davis's uh, Word Fetty for fall. It's the fall version. So that's what I'm using. And then I'm just going to dive right in. I decided to pick and choose a couple of my favorite elements from the two sets and print them on the same clear sticker paper. I will be journaling in Mark chapter 4 where it talks about the parable of the sower, starting in verse 3. Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it was withered away. Other seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain, and other seed fell into good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing, and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. Okay, so I cut that piece out, and I want it to go across the bottom, and I'm trying to see how it's going to fit on there and where the paint is going to fall. Something. I sometimes prop the other side of my Bible up if I'm having a hard time getting this side flat, the flat side I'm working on flat. Okay, so I thought I could kind of use this as a template. Let's see where I want this to go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of take a pencil. I'm not going to do this super perfect. It's just to give me an idea of where this thing is falling. So I'm just going to trace a little bit of the ups and downs here. So the reason I'm doing this is if you've ever used the clear stickers before, when you overlap them over paint, sometimes it's a little weird. So I thought maybe I would try this. I haven't tried this before, so we'll see. I also am going to mix some color because I tried this green straight out in the craft tube and it's pretty lime. Not that that's wrong, but I just don't want it to overpower the other stickers. Um, they're more muted in tone, so I'm gonna attempt to blend a color here. So I've got that green. I want it to be bluer and I want it to be a little darker. So I'm adding a little blue green and I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. Just a tiny bit. So I'm going to actually put it off to the side and mix just the tiniest bit in with my brush. So I'm just going to take a tiny tip and start blending this together. See what happens. So. so yeah, that's looking more like what I wanted. More of an olive, I wanted more of an olive, not a little lime color. And I'm kind of liking that. Maybe a tiny bit darker. Just a tiny bit of black. When you use colors like black, you only need a tiny, tiny bit. And then when you want to lighten a color, you want to start with a whole lot of white and just add a tiny bit of color if you're trying to go pastel or something. All right, that would be more olive, which is what I was going for. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and with my brush, kind of follow this cut out that I made. see what I'm doing. I think you can. Okay, cool. So I'm kind of setting up a landscape. <clears throat> I've got my super close foreground, which is these guys. Then I've got my middle 
middle ground, which is going to be this girl sowing some seeds. So I want to see where we're going to place her. to kind of line this up and again it doesn't have to be perfect but now you can see the grass and you can see these beautiful leaves and I didn't that um Taylor made and I didn't cover all that beautiful artwork up okay next we're gonna take our lady stick her down get some paint overlap but I think that's fine um, a little bit of crease in there okay and where's the paint on the front yeah I'm just gonna trim this part that had I'm grabbing a little water from my um, water glass. I'm kind of watering this same color down. And <clears throat> I think I'm gonna continue this hill over here. I've watered it down so that the words are still kind of showing through, if that's important to you. I don't mind covering it up to highlight other words sometimes, because that's my style. I know that's important to some people, so. So 
So I'm just kind of lifting some of this acrylic with some extra water. So I'm kind of playing with the different proportions that these ladies have provided with their art to give this per idea of perspective. <clears throat> Cut in between these trees. <clears throat> oh, I'm just realizing. Well, I guess that's fine. I think I want to use a tree or two. I'm not sure how many. The sun is coming through my window all of a sudden. Now, I don't want these to get lost in the green, so I'm going to take some. Let's see if these will fit on here. This fit here. It will, yay. Okay, so these are just some strips of leftover paper from cutting down booklets for Illustrator Base. Well, they both fit on one. All right, so I'm just gonna take one of these, and I'm gonna stick these down onto white paper and then cut them out again. I'm just going to take a tape runner. That on the back. So by using the largest items to the front of to the bottom of the page and the smallest items to the back of the page, you're able to get this sense of a landscape and sense of depth. I think I just want to cut a couple of word fetties out, maybe put them here at the bottom and do some sort of thing at the top for a tab. Let's see, I had a few of these picked out. Cultivate, harvest, and then spiritual fulfillment.
right, so just some as well washi at the top. I think I'll stick this tab up here. And maybe I could put one more word funny on here. Alright, work of his hands. So that this verse is really about being a good steward of the work he's doing in our lives and how that seed that he's trying to plant in us you know he gives us the seed but what we do with it you know that's our part but he really starts the work <clears throat> then it's our job to finish it. So, just off of the date stamp. And that was it. That's the end. Shut up here. Hope y'all enjoyed this like landscape painterly feel that we got from Brianna and Taylor's beautiful, beautiful sets. And I will leave in the description below how you can find the print and pray shop to get more printables like this. Thanks for watching.